Oh yeah. Oh my god, that is so hot. Oh, ooh, oh, I, can't, I didn't even know you could do, ooh, ooh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yes, yes. Oh god, the camera's on. Romero, he's an awesome dude, he's on your PC He likes to make reviews for the movies you see And if you want to sub his channel, take it from me He makes us all right to a big surprise and probably hates you Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News Jackie Chan, touch my wiener Hey there guys and gals, it's me Romero for Armin here with your review for one of my most anticipated movies of the summer in Guardians of the Galaxy. Now the movie's plot is revolved around a ragtag team of bounty hunters and killers who join forces to take down a intergalactic menace slash terrorist in Ronan the Accuser. This is Marvel's venturing into new territory as this is film is not a sequel to a previous Marvel property and is introducing new characters to a cinematic universe that they've developed and they're venturing in to outer space, which is an element they've never done before. Now this is one of the movies I needed to see this summer because the concept was different, the characters were brand new, everything just felt fresh, and they were venturing into a new concept and ideal with going into outer space. And that was just something that I needed to see. And these characters, the only people who really knew them were hardcore comic book fans like myself. Everybody who's like a regular moviegoer doesn't have an idea who the Guardians of the Galaxy are, so Marvel really rolled the dice with this film and holy crap did it pay off this has to be one of the most amazing Marvel movies I've seen in a while well not in a while well yeah in a while because you know Captain America the Winter Soldier is still one of my favorite Marvel movies but this has to be another great Marvel movie this year for them because they are just taking out top-notch quality films Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy of course directed by James Gunn who did Slither and Super and this movie just is something new to him. It's his first big budget film and he did a hell of a job with it. From everything to, to the outer space concepts to the creatures and I love the fact that he used actual makeup for some of the creatures and aliens in this movie and you know actually prosthetics and stuff. Something that's missing from certain movies. I love that aspect. Also the characters in this movie each have a good amount of screen time to get their characters developed and for the audience to connect to them. I loved all these characters from uh, of Peter Quill, Star-Lord being kind of an outer space Indiana Jones with a heart of gold, and then Gamora kind of being an intergalactic outer space version of Black Widow, but she's kind of a little more open to share her feelings than Black Widow and helping people and stuff. And then you've got Drax the Destroyer who has so much rage and anger, but inside he's just trying to find inner peace due to the death of his uh, daughter and his wife. And then finally you have the lovable scamps in Groot and Rocket who I kind of see as the new Han Solo and Chewie, you know, the gentle giant who's, you know, big and bulking, who follows the lovable jerk, you know, and that's kind of how I saw Rocket and Groot's relationship. They're kind of like a different version or Marvel's version of Han Solo and Chewbacca's relationship, and I adored these guys. These guys stole the show for me in this movie. Also gotta give it out to Lee Pace, who played an insane villain in this film, who has a one-track mind, and that is only to destroy, destroy, destroy and no one will stop him from getting to that goal. No matter what happens, this guy has that. He just wants to destroy and kill the universe and he will do that. And if you get in his way, your chances of survival are pretty slim, even if you are the Guardians of the Galaxy. All around, everything in this movie was perfect from the characters to the setting to the visuals. And I got to experience this movie in 4DX, which is a new format here in the state of California at the Regal Cinemas, where you not only do you get to watch the movie in 3D, you get to experience it. Every nuance, every movement, every taste, every smell is thrown at you. And that was a hell of a way for me to experience this movie. And I enjoyed it to death and it enhanced my enjoyment for the film a lot more due to the fact that I felt like I was actually in outer space riding in these spaceships watching the film. So if anybody's out there, I definitely recommend checking this movie out in 4DX if it's available in your location. All around, I give Guardians of the Galaxy 
Galaxy a solid 5 out of 5 rating in A in my book because the characters are great, they're new, fresh, and exciting, it isn't a sequel to a previous Marvel property, and they're venturing into a new place which is outer freaking space, which is something I never thought we would see in a Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not only that, the movie sold me because the relationship between Rocket and Groot is just so genuine and tender. You could feel it. You know, you could feel that these guys care about each other because they're best friends and they've been probably together forever. So these guys all around stole the show for me in this movie. I, I can bet a lot of people will be talking about Rocket and Groot in their movie reviews just like I am. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my review for Guardians of the Galaxy. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the film and also who's your favorite guardian obviously mines are rocket and Groot I love these guys and they're lovable you know you got rocket the lovable jerk and Groot the gentle giant how is that not a winning combination anyways as always guys I've got your back so you're on track see you guys next time Let's